is your girl Pris Kanu. Welcome to my channel. So today I'll not be performing any practical. Today, one of my video directors, Efo Felix. Efo Felix is going to tell us how to use the rotary evaporator. He's working on something and he's going to use the rotary evaporator. So as you can see, I'm the only person standing here. So I'll walk towards him to tell us what he's doing in the lab. So let's go. Bamnos. Okay, so I'm walking towards Epo for Epo to tell us what he's doing today. Alright, so Epo Felix. Yes. You are welcome to my channel. Thank you. Okay, so you see he's busy draining something. So he tell us about what he's doing in the lab. And I'll tell him to remove the nose now, nose mask so that my my fans can see his face. Okay. So this is April. Oh, April, come on, look inside the camera. <laughs> so this is April Felix, the popular April. See, April Solo is laughing. We send the camera to him so that everybody will see April Solo. So April Felix, please tell us what are you doing? All right, I'm working on a fungal extract. Okay. Now I have gotten. I'm separating the organic layer. The uh, okay. So they have gotten the organic layer over here, but it contains a whole lot of solvents. So I want to concentrate it as removing some of the solvents okay. in order to get a concentrated sample that I want to work on. Okay. In doing this, we use the rotary evaporator, which we basically look use the distillation principle. Okay. So first, we have to connect it using the clip to hold it this way. Now the water is heating at a temperature of 80 degrees Celsius just because the solvent is ethyl acetate having a boiling point a little above uh, 77. So the principle here is if it boils the vapor the passes through the tube to this level. This is a condenser. There's water running through it from the tap. Okay. So the vapor gets cooled up and condenses and is collected over here. So the pure ethyl acetate is collected over here. So I have my solvent but I have my concentrate over here. Okay. So I put it at a resolution at of six on it and begin to rotate. That's why we call it the rotary evaporator. Okay. It's rotating so that even distribution of the heat so I allow it to rotate it goes with time you will see the vapor condensing and then we have our ethyl acetate back with our concentrate also so this is how the rotary evaporator works okay alright so I've seen something here are you the one working on this one yes please I'm working with my colleague your second uh, video director oh okay yes, yes, sir. Can you tell us what is this? These ones are extracts from uh, cocoa pot hats. Cocoa pot, pot hats. Oh, okay. We are, it's believed the research has proven that it contains some terpenes and phenolic compounds. Okay. So you want to extract it. So after the maceration, I soaking it for some weeks. Now we are extracting the active ingredient, the compounds from it. You now determine. I can see that you covered it with cotton. Why? Why do you cover it with cotton? Just to prevent uh, foreign material from entering. And to also, to also allow for the escape of some of the solvent so that we have more concentrated samples. Oh, okay. So, right. as you can see, you see one like this, you now have a, a concentrated one. Okay. Who looks oily. Yes. So, this is our proof sample. So it's not even pure? Not pure, it's okay. a crude sample, okay. which we use for analysis. Analysis. Yeah. So you don't, you don't purify it before using it for analysis, you use the crude? It depends on what you are doing. Okay. In this case, since we don't have all the machinery and we don't have the time for the purification, we want to first look for the component in there. Okay. 
can look for the best way of crystallizing it. The idea of which compound is in there will help us get which of the solvent that we can use to crystallize it. Alright, so viewers, for your information, A4 is an M field student. So this is uh, his project that he's working on and he's telling us about his um, fungi extract from mango. Yeah. Those who don't know mango, mango is a type of la a plant that is normally grown um, at the seashore or something. Or yeah, saline, the saline okay. waters. Yes, so he Those got all the this. And the extracts. Yes. That's where you find the mango. So he got the fungi extract from the mango. Now I've seen a four solo also working. So uh, my cameraman will follow me to a four solo so that he tells us what he's also doing. So bamus, let's go. <laughs> Solo, one of my video directors. So Evo Solo will tell us what he's doing here. He's busy doing something and I don't know. He's also an MPhil student. So Evo Solo, what are you doing? Over here, I'm trying to look at various compounds that are containing the extracts that we have obtained from our rotary evaporation. Okay. I have my TLC plate. This plate has already been used. Okay. Let me show you what has not been used. It's made from glass and then okay. we have sprayed it with silica gel. So this one, you prepared it yourself? Oh, it wow. Yourself. Okay. Analysis. Okay. And this is going to help us to know the compounds that are present in our extracts. Okay. So this is an example of an extract that has been analyzed. Oh, okay. We spotted them the base of the plate. Okay. We run it in our tank, TLC tank. Okay. The TLC tank will have a, it's over an there. example of one over there. Okay. After running it, we bring it to the oven. To dry it. To dry it. Okay. And the purpose of the drying is to help us to visualize the various compounds that are present in the form of spots. Oh, okay. So you can see. Yeah, very beautiful. Here. Different colors. Different, different colors. Yes. So and the then, different colors represent different compounds. Different, different okay. compounds. Oh, that okay. You will separate further for further analysis. Okay, okay. So you have some of the plates in the OB you are drying now. Yes, there oh, is one okay. plate that you can see. If you can open it for us to see. Alright, so I'll open the oven then. Don't worry, viewers, our oven is very old, so please pardon with us, okay? Please open it for them to see. It is even older than me. <laughs> All right, so this is Epo Solo drying one of the TLC plates. Yes, yeah, so that we'll be able to visualize it very well. Okay. So I set my the temperature for the oven, and you can see it between 100 and then 120 degrees okay. Celsius. Okay. All right. Thank you, Epo Solo. Okay. All right, so viewers, let go. So this is how we use the rotary evaporator. So Epo Felix and Epo Solo, they have explained to us how to use the rotary evaporator. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, this is a surprise video, right? Yes. I hope you enjoyed it please if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up okay okay so cameraman thank you so much as usual he's laughing <laughs> cameraman thank you so much okay i'll see you and i'll bring you another exciting video okay please take care of yourself bye